Hello guys, today we are going to make our aisle game. I'm going to show when it's like it's going to be finished. This is my other art game. So, yeah. And it's not a multiple player cloud claim because multiple player games are hard to make. Well, hard for me at least. So you just eat the dots at, and you might see that there's a high score or high length, I guess. And, it, and it's a cloud variable. If you guys don't know about cloud variables, if you're still a beginner, you you can't press the cloud variable button because it doesn't let you. Cause, but if you're a scratcher, then you can have it. And this is pretty much all. First, we're going to create a new project. And we're going to want to name it. We can name it whatever I want, you want, but I'm going to name it Argo.io. So first, of all, I'm going to want to delete the cat, always. And this time, I'm going to paint a sprite. I'm going to just make the color green. And if you want to know the color, it's 30, 100, 100. Okay. Oh yeah, and if you press shift, you can make a perfect circle. First. I don't know why I just like it when it's small doo-doos. Set size to 200. Good. This is going to be the size one to start. And we're going to need some code to him. First, I'm going to name it Player. And we're going to Vents and grab the one the green flag is clicked block. And then we're going to Motion and, and, go, and get this go to X something, go to Y something. And then we're going to Zero zero which is middle exactly the middle so it's gonna be right in the middle yeah. and that's first we're gonna we're gonna search i believe you you just type arger dot I O A O say Arger I O map and then search and then you should be able to find all of these and I'm gonna take this one no not that one this one there's a lot more guys but I'm just gonna take this one safe and this is going to be the, the moving thing on back so we're going to go back and i'm going to upload it where is it right here good it's pretty big but not big enough for me No, that's not the trick. There's a trick, guys. Paint. And we're going to code. First of all, I'm going to name it. The name is so long. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it. I don't know. I have to name it what it is. When clicked. When it looks, switch costume to... Custom one set size to let me say three zero 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 three thousand and then switch costume to this oh say two zero 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 
Okay, two zero zero too much. One zero 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 one thousand. Yeah, one thousand is the perfect size. But go to back. And this is the tricky part. How do you make the screen move where the mouse pointer is? So we're gonna get forever loop emotions and get the change X by and we're gonna get a change Y by and put in a forever loop. We're gonna go to operators and grab two multiply and you're gonna put put each one in each hole so you fit perfectly and then we're gonna go to sensing and drag the mouse X and drag the mouse Y and you're gonna put the mouse Y and change Y by mouse X and change X by I want to say minus dot zero one minus point zero one and looks like it's moving doesn't it for me it does maybe for you it doesn't paint another sprite i'm going to say one click Control. We're gonna get a forever loop, and we'll say wait. And I'm gonna operators and get to put random and wait. And we'll say wait 0.3 to I guess two seconds. We're gonna looks and grab the change color, and then we're gonna go control. And at the bottom, there's going to be a create clone of myself. Yeah. I'm going to grab the one I start as a clone thingy. Not when one flag is clicked. I sometimes get confused too. Okay, almost the same. When I start as a clone, first of all, we want to show up anywhere. And first of all, I'm going to go looks, grab hide and show button and then we're gonna hide put it at the one click and when it starts to clone we're gonna put it right there just well that's why it's not working yeah just like that when it starts to clone show and then we're gonna grab a forever loop and go to the whatever dinghy you have and remember to change x change y and grab it and put it in front of that dinghy and when you go here you got it you don't know how to if you if it didn't work just you can just drag it so but look there's one other effect look if, if they reach the edge, it just like kind of crawls, it doesn't go out. So, we're going to put if else. We're going to go to touching, touching the edge. We're going to go looks and say hide, bad front, and show on the bottom. So, let's see. That should work. Okay, does hide there. Let's see if it does hide up. Okay, good. It does hide. Uh, I think in this one, wait, pick random. I don't say wait, pick random to seven. Wait, pick random 0.4. And then we're going to go to player. And now spirit one. We're going to say if. And put it in. Put in this one that starts a clone loop. If. 
it's touching the player first of all it's gonna wanna hide we're gonna go control and grab the weight thing and I'm gonna wait 0 0.01 seconds go to events and get the broadcast and if you don't know what broadcast is it's just like sending sending message one and it's gonna send it to everybody and you can choose whether they re react if they if they receive it so when I receive it so it's gonna do something we're gonna broadcast put it in here new message I'm gonna call it eat and we're gonna go player say when I receive eat change size by four let's see there's something wrong sorry guys it's not hide it's delete this clone sorry guys white broadcast like that broke put in the touching player did I get any bigger well, I didn't I didn't get any bigger when I receive eat change 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 size by 20. So let's see if this works. I went. Oh yeah. One click. It's going to set size to 200. And in this video, I'm not going to add a start screen. Because I'm not. I'm going to watch the others. I'm not gonna care about the lavas and stuff. You guys can add that. Well, I'm not. But there's one last thing I'm gonna do. We're gonna make a variable and call it score. And for sprites and for the sprite only is okay. Both is okay. So you need to care about that. And make a variable called high high score. And if you see a cloud variable, press it. But if you don't have a cloud variable thing, don't care it. Don't care about it. And it's telling you about high scores. I'm gonna put a high score right here. Score right here. And we're gonna get the change. We're gonna say change the score by one. And we're gonna grab a one that green flag is clicked. Go to control. Grab the forever loop. And we're gonna say if this is the kind of hard part. I'm gonna grab this. If whatever is greater than 50, we're gonna say score is greater than high score. And before we do that, we're in the variables. Let's just set the set score to zero. And we're gonna set the cloud high score or high score whatever to score. Let's check it out, guys. This is done. Well, yeah, done. If there's no problems and remember I'm not adding a start screen or lava guys see I can see the high score changes and then let's this is it for this tutorial guys bye